Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. This is our third week of home learning. So before we're going to start our lesson, chapter 11, lesson 2, we will have our short review for what you have learned last week. It's all about the story, culture in a community. Okay, so if you have your book with you, open it on page 318. It's all about the culture, how we do, how we say hello in different um, manner, in different acts, and then our different ways of life. And then the most important thing is the story of Johnny Appleseed, this man who have like, um, who had the way how he spread kindness to the people and his story became a legend and mostly talk about for the younger kids in America. So now let's go to our lesson. Um, chapter 11, lesson 2, it's all about Russia. So open your book on page 326. Okay, are you with me? 326. Chapter 11, lesson 2, it's all about Russia. Okay, so I will see here. You will see here the flag of Russia. It's the same as Thai flag. It has white, blue, and red colors. So mostly we understand that white stands for purity, blue for the um, country, and then red for the people, blood of the people. So it's the same as Thai um, flag. Now let's say here, or let's see here the... Um, where is the location of Russia? Okay, these are the countries near Russia. You can see Finland, Ukraine, Mongolia, and China. And you will find Russia is in the northern part of Asia. Okay, northern part of Asia. And now, we'll, we'll talk about why we need to learn about the Russia. Okay, we learned... We will learn Russia. In this lesson, we are going to know the customs of the students and the participation of the students in the school. And we are going to compare if they are the same as we are doing in our own classroom. Okay? So, first, we will focus on the place called Moscow. Okay? Moscow, Russia. This is the capital in Russia. Okay, this is the capital in Russia. And I have um, learned that the capital in Russia is the center of arts, business, and government. The same as Bangkok. Okay, the same as Bangkok. Wherein most of the um, government institution or establishment or buildings found in Bangkok. Okay, the arts, the museum, and business center, you can see in Bangkok. Also in Russia, you will find it in Moscow. Okay, it's called Moscow, but mostly in America, it's called Moscow. Okay, it's the same, Moscow, Moscow, it's the same. Okay, here, all over the world, people go to school. Okay, this is one basic need of the people now, going to school. School is very important to Russian people because it gives people the skill to be a good citizen and get good job. Their main role in why it's very important to Russian people is that this um, school is giving them the giving them the skills. Okay, you not even learning, but you become a good citizen. You will be teaching how to behave in the community. And that is why you can get a good job if you have finished school, okay? As we have learned in the past that when you finish school, you can get a good job, okay? Not like even just like um, begging because you don't know anything. You don't know what work you are going to do. So that is why when you get a good job, it's because you have the highest attainment in education, Okay, in this lesson, you will learn what is like to be a student in Moscow. Okay, what is like to be a student in Moscow. So you just pretend that you are studying in Moscow. And you know that some students, they want to study here. 
okay they want to study maybe the school um the schools here in moscow is something like um they give um and in moscow there are 1600 schools okay there are 1600 schools and then moscow are like the same as your schools in many ways okay many ways so not only learning there are some activities that the same as our school especially we are learning in the international school so they said that school gives people the skills to be good citizen and get good job okay that's their main point so here is an example of a russian school okay this is probably grade three students see that they don't even have uniform but um somewhat the same the same um dress okay the same dresses from each other you can see that okay this is the typical classroom of um a russian school and this is the teacher and they're learning and reading okay and then school gives people the skill to be a good citizen and to get good jobs okay with training students can become scientists okay they trained a lot okay they work hard they studied hard and then they might become writers too choose to run businesses you you have um uh, learned that mostly the scientists the mathematicians came from russia because they focused on particular thing okay when they study they have to study when they want to know everything they want to learn it they have uh, they will spend time in learning okay in moscow the children at the age of six years old and 17 they go to school and they have to um their time of classes have been div divided okay the youngers have to stay in school until 12 30 okay like lunch time after that they have to go home but the rest of the older students they have to stay until 3 p.m but in our school we have to stay at 2 20 them is they have to stay until 3 p.m so probably most of the high school or the older kids have to learn more they have to learn more and they focus they have what we call the major subjects that they have to learn okay and many russian students work hard on math and science and then younger students these younger students they have also to learn about poetry like poems reading and then stories just like what you're doing in language arts and then reading some stories and then they have the reading logs the same as you are and then they learn also history social studies geography just like that so they learn what is happening in their country and not on their country but all over the world they want to learn about the history of each country students who are interested in certain subjects can go to special schools for example if they want to learn in a particular subject they have to go to a special school okay not just like learning for all the subject but they focus only to one particular subject for example in third grade like you are learning chinese right you have the time to learn chinese but this um russian people they also learn other languages too like french and english because they have different language this english is not their major language or their um, native language they have their own language so they are learning also french and english language so they have to attend school and they have this particular time to study okay so let's go over now in moscow they always remember how russian um behave okay how they usually do this is what we call customs okay customs something that members of the group usually do they usually do just like you you have your own routine in the school right like during the break time what you have to do during lunch time what you have to do after school what you have to do okay also the russian they have also this what we call customs it's usually they do it's a routine that they have to do okay it's somewhat like um not really different from our school it's probably the same like for example during the break time okay 
Russian children play outside during recess. Okay, this time, this kind of like activity that we always see in the playground during break time. They spend their time not only eating, not only eating, chit-chatting, or even like playing around, like sweating a lot. But during this activity, they play, but they learn. For example, this guy, how to pass the ball to other girl. Okay, it's somewhat like PE time. They learn how to wait for their turn. They learn how to like um, follow the rules. At the same time, they avoid fighting. Okay, but other students, if they don't want to play, they spend their time in reading. They spend their time in reading, going to the classroom, and just like you, reading, right? Like I always told you during lunchtime, if you have free time, do not spend all the time mostly in playing. Playing has always time, okay? But reading time during lunchtime can add up to what you are learning this time, okay? It's the most important thing because reading will bring you to anywhere. It's a very important thing that you always spend your quality time with quality things, okay? So, in Moscow, students' early grades often share school buildings, okay? They like share, for example, the grade 1 and grade 2, grade 3 in one building. And then... Like, for example, four, five, six in one building. The same as we are. We have three buildings in our school, right? We have the elementary, primary school. We have the middle school and high school. So, we, it's also the same as they are. They have their own buildings separated. But in United States, younger students usually have their own schools. So, it's different. They are separated, the younger ones, from the bigger ones. But here in our school, we have in one building, but we have separated classrooms, okay? So, winters in Moscow, most of the time, they are not, um, they still doing some usual thing that they do, but only inside the classroom or inside the building because winter time is very cold but then during the summer that is why they have to go out and then um, instead these children in Moscow play, play big balls okay even outside or inside they can play big balls and then some Russian schools have to do with their manners even when they are eating they always follow their manners okay how to eat especially if you are like outside or in the public okay just like that how to eat properly your proper etiquette when you are eating they always think of their manner okay not just learning but they think of their manner okay like here in high school this is what they always do the students have to stand up when the teacher enters the classroom Okay, because they're already big. So, mostly, the teachers coming from outside go inside their classroom and the students only have to wait there. But the first thing that they have to do when the teacher is coming inside the classroom, they have all stand up. Okay, that is the greeting of their teacher. is a sign of respect that the teacher is coming in. But here in our school, it's quite different because the teacher is already inside the classroom. So, the students are the ones going inside. But probably, all you have to do to pay respect to your teacher is to say good morning, to greet, to why, or even just to say hi because the teacher is there already. That is how still um, having a good manner to pay respect to your teacher, okay? And here, another custom that these students are practicing if when they, they want to talk, they don't just like raise their hand like that as what we practice in our classroom mostly. That is how you will be recognized when you want to talk. But what you see here in the picture is one student putting the um, hand other hand on top of her desk and the other hand is doing like this like uh, setting the elbow on the top of her desk like that okay it's one way of like getting the attention of the teacher 
that you want to share something. If you are doing like this, you will be recognized. The teacher will call you and then that's the time you will talk and say what you have to say. But if you are not recognized, you have to keep quiet and listen, listen to your teacher and listen to your friend talking. Okay? So mostly they are just sitting down but doing like this. It's their costume how to do that. Not like that. Like not like this that we are doing mostly in the classroom raising hand but they're doing like this only okay it's a very good idea how the students raising their hands and keeping their elbow on their desk okay so hopefully we can also do that in our classroom okay if we could follow it it's a very nice um, manner it's a very nice costume that we sometimes have to follow okay so it would help us um, listen okay Listen to teacher and some of our students that are talking if they want to share something. And then if you are not being recognized, you have to keep quiet and listen. Okay? So, citizens in the citizens or the students in Moscow, they also have what we call projects. Okay? We usually do projects every quarter, right? But this quarter, we are going to do... Um, just little information you have to do um, piggy bank okay so I'm going to talk about that next time so the students are doing projects by participating okay they always participate they always join they always do they always follow and then um, join their activity by taking a trip to learn more about the Russian culture Okay, so sad to say that this time we don't have field trip because of what is happening in our situation. So what is happening around us. So that is why we um, just wait if this um, situation will be um, stopped or um, that's the time we can go for a trip. I know some of the students now are very eager to go to a trip. Yeah, the same as me. And then, so in Russia, when they want to participate, they will go usually most of the time in this what we call the square, the red square, okay? The red square that you will um, find in Moscow, okay? This is the red square, you can see that. Mostly, it's um, the students come here to learn about their culture, Okay, it's a very nice place even though I did not I just looking at the picture I was so amazed how the engineers work hard to create this kind of um, building okay so they participate in something when they have to do projects in their communities they will do like community work just like planting trees or gardening Okay, planting trees or gardening, they can do that in their own country, in their own place, in their own community. You see these kids, they're having a field trip and it's very cold. You see that? It's uh, somewhat like, let's say, um, uh, example in Bangkok, um, it's somewhat like you see the, the, the kind of building that you can see here. Let us say it's just like the Grand Palace, okay? Mostly the people coming there just to see and amaze how this palace um, looks like, okay? So it's one of their trip or it's one of their um, project that they have to go for a trip and learn about their culture. So mostly if the students wants to know about it, they will join and they must, that they all participate in the school's activity just like you are so so um i hope that you have learned about our lesson for this week it's all about moscow it's all about the costumes of the students which um it's the same as we are doing in the school and then um for us to know that the most important thing is not only learning but to have manner just like Jesus is teaching us to how to be a good people, okay? Always follow, always remember that um, richness and then the wealth 
good health will follow if you have a good heart. Whatever is your desire in your heart, God will always give us. God will always um, give what we want in our life. It will just follow if we are having a good heart. If we become a good citizen, that's the most important thing. Being a good citizen, not only for like um, what we have learned, but we will not just like expanding what we have learned, but we also have to expand the goodness in our heart. Okay, that's the most important thing. So I hope that you have learned in this uh, mostly 20 minutes um, learning that about being a good citizen. Okay, not only Thai people are having a good citizen, but also other countries. So I hope this video will find you um, learning while we are going on to our lessons from a week by week until we finish the book and i hope that you are going to follow and then subscribe this channel so that the following week i'm going to post another video for you to learn for our lesson and then hopefully do not forget to subscribe so everybody let us learn and then i would like to say that you have to stay safe and pray all the time so hopefully this situation will gonna stop and so we can come back and learn our what we have uh, going to do in the school and then we will continue learning just like the normal learning so hopefully guys that you are safe by this time you are learning with me and see you next time okay bye bye